In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Greetings from Holy Trinity Church on this, the seventh Sunday of Easter, the Sunday of Ascension Tide, when at this time we look back to Thursday when we celebrated our Lord ascending into heaven and we look forward to next Sunday, Pentecost Sunday, the coming of the Holy Spirit. So as we come before our Lord in word and sacrament this day, we begin with our prayers of penitence. The Spirit of the Lord fills the world and knows our every word and deed. Let us then open ourselves to the Lord and confess our sins in penitence and faith. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You make one by your spirit, the torn and divided. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of all love and power forgive us and free us from our sins. Heal and strengthen us by his spirit and raise us to new life. In Christ our Lord. Amen. Collect for today. Let us pray that our risen and ascended Lord will lead us to eternal life. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before us, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our Bible readings for today. 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers. Together, the crowd numbered about 120 people and said, Friends, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit, through David, foretold concerning Judas, who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus, for he was numbered among us and was allotted his share in this ministry. So one of the men who have accompanied us throughout the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with us to his resurrection. So they proposed too, Joseph called Barsabas, who was also known as Justus and Matthias. Then they prayed and said, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you, for the words that you gave to me I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf, I am not asking on behalf of the world, 
but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them, and now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be as one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost, except the one destined to be lost, so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and I speak these things in the world, so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth, your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world, and for their sakes I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. As Christians at this time of year, Ascension Tide, we look to and celebrate God's heavenly kingdom. God, in the form of Jesus, could only be in one place at once here on earth. And so as Jesus ascended into heaven, God sent the Holy Spirit, which can be and is everywhere. Next Sunday, we will mark the Holy Spirit descending upon the disciples and upon the world. Our reading from John reminds us that even though Jesus suffered greatly in the last days of life, his prayer for his followers was that they should have the full measure of my joy within them. Jesus celebrated life. Jesus cared for people and brought the God-given sense of joy to those around him. And this joy is deeper than human happiness. This joy sustains us, nurtures us, fills us with love, a joy that gives us the hope of life to come. The passage from John is Jesus's prayer for what the Father will do for the world. It is not a declaration of what is, but more an intercession for what shall be. A plea for the Father's name to protect those who are in the world. A heartfelt appeal from Jesus to his Father that the believers may withstand the challenges of life. And so as we serve our Lord, we bring about that joy to those around us. We bring our risen and ascended Lord into the hearts of those who are yet to know his love, rejoicing in life, pulling together in strength, making God's love known today. Amen. Our prayers of intercession, let us pray. Let us join our prayers with those of our Saviour Christ, seeking the Father's blessing and the gifts of the Spirit. Jesus Christ, great High Priest, living forever to intercede for us, pray for the Church, your body in the world. We pray for Christians across the world at this ascension tide. Lord, hear us. Lord, 
graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, King of Righteousness, enthroned at the right hand of the Majesty on high, pray for the world and make it subject to your gentle rule. We pray for peace in our world and peace in our hearts. Especially at this time, we pray for the people of Israel and Palestine and the many areas of our world where people suffer today. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, Son of Man, drawing humanity into the life of God, pray for your brothers and sisters in need, distress or sorrow. We hold before God all who are sick, sorrowful or worried, offering our own burdens and pains. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, pioneer of our salvation, bringing us to glory through your death and resurrection. Surround with your saints and angels, those who have died, trusting your promises. We pray for all who have died recently, for those who have died in tragedies, and for all who mourn their passing. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Lord over all things, ascended far above the heavens and filling the universe. Pray for us who receive the gifts you give us for work in your service. We rejoice in the gift of faith and pray that as we go about our daily business, we will seek to serve Christ in all that we do. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace and bring the whole created order to worship at your feet, for you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. We pray for God's peace. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
let us pray. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed be God for ever. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Born of a woman, he came to the rescue of our human race. Dying for us, he trampled death and conquered sin. By the glory of his resurrection, he opened the way to life eternal, and by his ascension gave us the sure hope that where he is, we may be also. Therefore, the universe resounds with Easter joy and with choirs of angels, we rejoice forever, offering our praise. How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord! As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, and taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence. His sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us 
the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her peace. Bless us at the last with all the saints to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Looking for the coming of his kingdom, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, we died with you on the cross. Now we are raised to new life. We were buried in your tomb. Now we share in your resurrection. Live in us that we may live in you. I heard the voice of a great multitude crying, Alleluia! The Lord our God has entered into his kingdom. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Alleluia! The body of Christ broken for you. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, you have raised our humanity in Christ and have fed us with the bread of heaven. Mercifully grant that, 
nourished with such spiritual blessings, we may set our hearts in the heavenly places through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together, we thank you, Lord, that you have fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all peoples. Amen. Well, thank you for joining in our worship today. As we go forward this week, we go forward being assured that Jesus will never leave us, that God sends the Holy Spirit as Jesus dwells in our hearts. We pray for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May the Spirit, who set the church on fire upon the day of Pentecost, bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and all who you love and remain with you always. Amen. waiting expectantly for the promised Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs> 